Hello everyone and welcome to a new video here on my channel and something completely new and I want to do a huge huge disclaimer before we hop into this video. We are going to talk about tattooing, needles. If you feel like you're getting influenced by this video <laughs> to buy this yourself, please just make sure that you do it good and clean and don't get any like infections or anything. Just like, okay. With that said, I bought myself a tattoo machine. I want to say that this is the absolute first time I actually do this, but I have a few years ago, I have on my foot, I have three tattoos, very small ones, that I did with a stick and poke, and I don't even know what kind of ink that was. And then I got the idea because my my best friend Felicia, she just bought herself a tattoo machine and uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but I did that. <laughs> it has not healed well, or it has healed well, but the ink and said so on all of the reviews that it doesn't stay in the skin. Three little dots here. But yeah, I have been doing some tattooing on myself before this, um, but I don't know anything. Uh, but we are going to learn in this video and I'm so lucky to have not only I have bought a bunch of like fake skins so We're gonna do a lot of training before that, but I also have a boyfriend that has a bunch of just like Stupid tattoos so I can train on him as well <laughs> And on myself enough talking. I want to see what I have got I just opened it up just to see if it was the tattoo machine Okay. <laughs> wow also, I have my good camera right here and I have my old camera up here. So hopefully it's like in focus and everything. Yeah. I'm not gonna get super into what I have bought because I'm not 100% sure if this is good, but I did some Googling um, and this looked really nice and all of the reviews was really cool. I really wanted a, a tattoo machine that you don't have to use a big like, um, battery thingy for and also something that you could use without a cord because I just feel like that would be nice you know so I bought a one that was just a little bit tad expensier expensier <laughs> more expensive because I do want to really try this my best I do want this to like be one of my new hobbies <laughs> so let's see um I don't know about you, but I'm someone that just like finds new hobbies all the time. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are. <laughs> I feel like we are kind of the same. <gasps> that is so tiny. I mean, this is not the uh, tattoo uh, machine, but this is the battery for it. If you want to use it cordless. That is so small, right? I think I got two batteries. Yep, another battery, a black one. We have some ink tubes, bottles, thingies. What is it called? Ooh, we have the ink. So this is the Mossed Tattoo Ink and I made sure if you can see that, da, 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 da. that it's vegan and cruelty free because obviously. <laughs> so let's go through the shades. I'm probably just going to use like the black, I mean mostly, but uh, I found this kit and uh, I just couldn't resist. <laughs> so we have the high white, oh, there we go light purple which is not very light but okay we have light green not light either but okay lightning yellow light red true blue and the black and then what do we have here here we have all of the needles scary <laughs> the one that i am yeah, the tattoo machine that I, my friend bought she had these like long 
needles, but these I think is just like is short and it just looked way easier. These needles have four needles in them, I think. And uh, these ones have just like one. <laughs> I feel like such a noob. Like, I don't know how to just explain all of this. <laughs> Lastly, I think that this is the tattoo machine. I mean, I hope if not, uh, where is it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at it. Okay, so this is the machine. Then you put the battery in like that and a needle in there. And you should be able to just like zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> um, you can change the um, on and off here and the settings. I mean, different speeds, I guess. I feel like this is very not similar, but it's kind of similar to the e-file that I used to find my nails. Like, it's just the, the same hold, you know? But this is the cord. I mean, really nice to use it with a cord as well, I feel like, because then it will just be so small. Just look at this, how small this is, if you're gonna use it like this. All right, it is the next day, and I just got my second package with all of the cleaning supplies and sanitation things. So um, I have already opened up the green soap because the um, bottle had exploded <laughs> in the packaging. So I had to clean it, but uh, luckily like most of it is still there. What I've heard <laughs> and what I've Googled myself to know, is that a lot of people use green soap, or I think everybody uses green soap, to clean the tattoo while tattooing. I'm not 100% sure if you should um, use this straight away or mix it with water, but I will look it up, don't you worry. Uh, and this is also a vegan. Then also, this is coconut flavor. <laughs> this is called uh, flavor? I don't know. This is cruelty-free and vegan, uh, and this is specially designed for use during tattooing and aftercare. So yeah, and this is coconut. I actually just wanna open it up and see how it looks. Oh, can you guys see that? Mmm, that smells so good. Then we have some gloves. I bought a hundred pairs. And now lastly, I have some fake skin. And um, this is everything that I have gotten to start tattooing on just like fake skin and stuff like that. Maybe some small ones on people. But if I were to do this professionally or like trying to make this a job, I would get more things, like a lot of more cleaning thingies, like plastic covers for the uh, uh, machine and everything like that. But yeah, I'm mostly just going to start on fake skin, so I don't feel like I need all of that. Let's just start uh, tattooing. And I'm gonna be honest, I actually did try it out yesterday on Jonas. Here we have the fake skin. I have mixed the green soap because I saw online that it should be mixed um, one to eight parts. So I have it here in just a pet bottle. Before I do anything, oh no, water. I have washed my hands. I'm gonna use some hand sanitizer and we're gonna apply the gloves. So hopefully everything is just clean. Hello. Here we have the machine. So yeah, there we have the um, battery. And I used a one of the needles on Jonas yesterday. So that's why you guys can see that it's used. Um, and I feel like I will obviously never use this on someone again because I used it yesterday. But I feel like for fake skin, 
it should be okay, right? Okay, so there we go. I just uh, clip it in and you push this uh, to start it. So here we have the ink and we are going to use the black. Before we do anything, we have to make sure that this doesn't move. And for that, you use this. So I don't have any like popsicle sticks or anything like that that you should use to like scoop out everything to have it super sanitized. But I have not touched anything with my gloves. So I'm just gonna, first of all, take some of this like that, that I've seen people do. <laughs> And we're gonna put it there. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna take a little glob, put it there. I have my green soap. I have my um, paper towels. Okay, so as I used this yesterday on Jonas, it is open. But yesterday when I opened it up, I'm gonna show you guys, it is completely closed I mean obviously but I just felt like you wanted to know that's just something that I always check with makeup and stuff as well um, just to make sure that it's not open or yeah you guys know okay so should we start and just like do a couple of lines right <sighs> okay let's do this okay you know what I actually heard about this that you should put like a cardboard or something underneath because it would just feel better. So I'm gonna see if I can find... I've just gone over with a normal pen and uh, doodled <laughs> a little bit and now I'm just gonna fill this in and see how it looks. The doodles is done and now I'm gonna clean all of this and see, whoops, I used way too much. Let's see how I did. Oh, what? Nah, I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. Look at that, look at that, look at that. So cute, so cute, so cute, so cute. I could literally have all of these on my body. Okay, I am going to practice some more right here. And then next time we see each other, we're gonna do something on me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to uh, do something here. As you guys can see, I tried to do three dots. And the same thing with this, I'm going to just add the lines again. Uh, might do something there again, might do something here. I mean, we'll see. So first of all, I'm going to clean the surface. And from the ingredients, this seems like the same thing that people use is like 100% alcohol. Or not 100%, but like 70% alcohol. <sighs> okay. Yeah, let's, let's start, I guess. Vaseline 
I think you add the Vaseline just to protect the skin um, and also to like make things glide a little bit better. Not really sure. Here we go. Now for these. I'm thinking I want to do that. Okay, you guys see that? On this. I made the lines very thick. <laughs> but I still think it looks cool. They're not like identical to each other. That is pretty cool. I mean, right? Should I do something more maybe? Let's make a little line right here. Should I do it all the way around? I really should not have a tattoo machine. <laughs> Wouldn't that look cool though? I could do this for hours, but I think we're gonna get going and do something bigger on my leg. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking I will do one of these really cute little spooky ghosts. So let me just sketch out how I want him. Oh my God, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> that hurts, <laughs> that really hurts. I made it myself. Let me just go ahead and perfect this a little bit and then I will show you guys the result. Last wipe because right now I love it. It is looking so cute. For being my very first like big tattoo, pretty good right and now some of this vegan vaseline kind of thing there you guys can see it <laughs> i did that you guys i did that how did i do that i did not know as you might have guessed i am completely obsessed with this i feel like this is going to be my new thing it's just so much fun finding a new hobby and being good immediately <laughs> it just sparks something inside of me i just feel so uh, proud of myself if you would like to see more tattoo videos do let me know maybe do you just want like instagram reels quick ones or tiktoks or anything but i would love to just share my work <laughs> <laughs> more on uh, any of my platforms really but this was just like a really good uh, first impression me learning kind of video i really hope you guys have an amazing day and i hope that we will see each other in the next video bye